the Latouche Cup is next. This is a four miles and two furlongs, 0 to 160 handicap. And at the top, we've got National Apocalypse. Oh, Joshua sort of the man on radar there on Van Rensburg, Tiama Garland, David Robertson, Enemy or Friend, Darren Thompson, Rialto, and Tintin Fire for Padre Hogan, Scarlet Old Lady Saves for David Robertson, Pearl's Choice, John Morgan, Ty Tyler, Daniel French, Ideal Women, David Hooley, Hope Lu oh, let's try that one again. <sighs> Hope Lisa for John Morgan, Ironical Harold Graham Clusbrook, and Ponderosa, Paul Rhodes that are away and racing, rain still coming down, it's been raining. Pretty much all day. And National Apocalypse is the early leader. And the pace is pretty pedestrian as you'd expect with four miles and two furlongs to go, but they're all safely over the first of the 22. They've got to take quite a few long distance races again this week. And decent sized field of 13 in this one, though. Enemy or friends in the league. We've got the Irish Grand National and the Scottish Grand National coming up later in the week and the Whitbread Gold Cup. So I don't know the Irish Grand National and the Whitbread Gold Cup are only three or five furlongs, but they still attract a lot of the four milers and there's a lot of opportunities for them this week as they get to the second. And they're all safely over that. moving the Whitbread back to next week but then I suppose it would clash with the Moore's Millions so I suppose if we're going to have a revamp we're going to have a real good look at it maybe that Moore's Millions doesn't need to be brought down to just one final over four miles and then you could move the Whitbread back to the final week of the season well, that's for other people to decide and it's enemy or friend in the lead Ponderosa as they get over the third safely over that one, a couple of them down on their nose. Toy Tyler was one of them, so too was Malon Raider. But it's enemy or friend who's in front. A good four or five lengths clear of Ponderosa in second, Rialto third, and then National Apocalypse fourth as they get over the fourth. So they all get over nicely. Toy Tyler just about mark. They're already quite well strung out. They've got well over three miles still to go. Over the fifth, enemy or friend in the lead. Clear of Ponderosa. In Rialto. And National Apocalypse. Ideal Harold. Tints in fire after that one. Pretty sure Tints in fire was placed in the Grand National a couple of seasons ago. Enemy or friend is in front. I think that one fell in this year's race. Ponderosa second, then Rialto third. And ironical Harold National Apocalypse is after that. Then Tints in Fire and Pearl's Choice out. Louisa is next, and then Mal on Raider. Scarlet Old Lady says. And Ideal Woman, Tiama Garner. And finally, Ty Tyler. As they get to the next enemy offering, was a bit of a, took a bit of a gamble on it, but it got away with it. Continues to lead by two to Rialto, Ponderosa third, and ironical Harold and National Apocalypse. Pearl's choice is after that. And they're all safely over the eighth. The enemy offering continuing to show the way. Rialto in second. And they get to the ninth. Thompson's enemy or friend in the lead. Padre Hogan's got second and third. Tints in Farrell and Rialto. Then Ponderosa for Paul Rhodes on the inside is third. Ironical Harold for Graham Clutterbuck is next. And the first of the John Morgan horses is Pearl's Choice. The National Apocalypse for Joshua Sutherland after that one in the Dennis the Menace Hoops as they get over the next. A small gap men of their second John Morgan horse is Hope Lisa. Outside Leon van Rensburg's Malon Raider. Just got the one in this time, Leon. Ideal women next for David Hooley. The two David Robertson 
quarters are next as they get over that ditch. Scarlet old lady says, who's on the outside of Finding a Woman and Gap, then back to the other one, Tiama Garland, who's on the outside of Ty Tyler, who's just the back marker. I'm guessing that must be Daniel French's. It's not quite as I recognise them. Still having done the bulk of the jump race in this season. I want two horses in there. I don't recall commentating on before. Certainly not come across, come across Scarlet Old Lady Says, I don't think. Uh, no. Races that still must have been there. Anyway, any of your friend is in the lead over the 12th. And they're all safely over that, although Tiama Garland was a little bit untidy. That one will be the last. Next time round, ready into the final two miles, an enemy or friend and tints in viral. Oh, disputing the lead. And there's a three length gap back to Ponderosa and Rialto as they go past the winning post. One more circuit to go. Then National Apocalypse and Ironical Harold. Pearl's Choice Malon Ray getting closer. Hope Lisa is still there as well. An ideal woman getting a bit closer as well. Scarlet Old Lady says after that one as they go over the next and again. Enemy Old Friend rattled it. And this time has surrendered the lead to Tintsin Fire Up. Who's now too clear. Ponderosa is about to take second, I would guess, as they come down towards the next, although. Enemy or friend has been driven into it. Oh, what is it for? He fell before the fence. Rialto, I don't know what happened there, but Rialto fell before the fence. And Ideal Women has gone as well. Well, that one was put off by Rialto. I don't know, but it'll be worth rewinding after the race and looking at a replay of that because something I've seen before. He seemed to fall before he took off. He ran into it. But it's anyway, it's in fire in the lead. From enemy or friend in second, Scarlet Old Lady says has now moved right through into third. National Apocalypse is next as they take the next ditch, which they all get over okay. And suddenly the David Robertson horses are the ones who are creeping into the picture. It's Tints in Fire who's got the lead. From enemy or friend second, Scarlet Old Lady says is third. Stablemate Tiama Garland has now moved into fourth. Then National Apocalypse and Ironical Harold Ponderosa has lost its place. Malon Raider and Hope Lisa haven't really made a bit of a move yet. Pearl's choice is towards the back there with Ty Tyler. They coming into the final mile. This is the 17th. And they all stream over that one mistake towards the back by Hope Lisa. And there it looks like both of John Morgan's are probably beaten, but it's Tints in Fire who's in front. Tints in Fire from Scarlet Old Lady says who moves nicely into second. Then comes Enemy or Friend and Tiama Garland as they take the 18th and good jump by the first two. Also by the horse in third as well. Enemy or Friend is now starting to backtrack, but it's Tints in Fire from Scarlet Old Lady says in second. Tiama Garland is in third. Enemy or Friend and National Apocalypse are next as they get over the 19th. They've just got three more to take now. And Tints in Fire in front from Scarlet Old Lady says in second, then enemy or friend Tiama Gold, National Apocalypse, Malon Raider trying to get into it, I wrote Hope Lisa off too quickly, look at her, she's absolutely flying now then comes uh, Malon Raider Ironical Harold's after that one, also trying to run on his tight tie, tie Pearl's Choice has pulled up at the back, Ponderosa is now the back marker, but it's a scarlet old lady says who's come through to challenge for the lead then, enemy or friend is trying to fight back, this is the third last and a mistake by Tints in final presents the lead to scarlet old lady says, scarlet old lady says is in the lead from National Apocalypse and Malon Raider. Hope Lisa running a remarkable race back in fourth. They're coming down towards the second last in there. And Scarlet Old Lady says pops over the second last in the final. It's better jump by National Apocalypse who moves alongside. Then comes Malon Raider and Hope Lisa. They're racing towards the final fence in there. They've got three furlongs still to go. And it's Scarlet Old Lady says in the lead from National Apocalypse second. Malon Raider is third. Hope Lisa on the inside is fourth. They're coming down towards this final fence. They've still got the best part of two furlongs to go and it's Scarlet Old Lady says in National Apocalypse these two are clear it's got to be between these two I think now as they race towards this final fence it's Scarlet Old Lady says on the near side National Apocalypse on the far side they take it together they land together but Scarlet Old Lady says gets away from the bit of the still a furlong to go Scarlet Old Lady says in the lead National Apocalypse under a big weight is second but it's Scarlet Old Lady says in the lead National Apocalypse is trying to fight back but Scarlet Old Lady says is going to be strong Strong enough and the weight's going to make the difference. And up to the line.
and Scarlet. Old Lady saves, wins it. National Apocalypse is second. Tints in four, on for third. Titana ran on for fourth. And then Hope Lisa after that one. Ponderosa drops out to be last. And Scarlet Old Lady saves for David Robertson. Oh, I'm guessing that's one that... He left the computer to name because he probably didn't think it was going to be any good. But he's <laughs> proved him wrong if that's the case because he's taken that one from out of the handicap. So Scarlet Old Lady says takes it for David Roberts. National Apocalypse Joshua Southern top weight was second. Tintin Viral Padre Hogan third. Ty Tyler Daniel French fourth. And Tiama Garland for David Roberts and again was fifth.